Here is Don Pinar. Hi, we are here to introduce Don Kennard. You want to film an interview? Who is releasing an album called The Courtesy right. Fall in March. Ask. And we are going to do a short interview with her Ask. so we can get some information about the record and about how she recorded it and how she wound My up in London. So, um, won't you ask away? Ask, ask, ask. take my dog out and I would climb a tree and sing to my dog. That's actually where my singing career started, was in a tree in Pennsylvania. I took my dog to a... I was looking for treasure, actually, because there was a hole in the bottom of the tree, and I always thought if I dug there that I was going to find something. I did find bits of pottery, which was a treasure to me. But anyway, the dog, Blackie, would sit there. This was pre-kindergarten. I was on the loose in the cornfields. <laughs> uh, I would climb a tree and I would sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And I would stay out there for hours. You know, my parents didn't know where I was. There's a misconception, I think, about preacher's daughters so strict upbringing, but I had a lot of freedom, and I would spend whole days like that. You look surprised that I'm around, cause I keep on waiting. It was summer, and by this time I was like 15, and uh, I went down to the creek and washed my clothes in the creek. I liked to wash my clothes in the creek. It was a weird thing. Nobody knew I did it. <laughs> I wa wa wash my clothes in the creek and hang them on trees and uh, wait till they dried. I'd sit around naked. Nobody went down there. I was the only one down there. It was like... That's the thing I love about Pennsylvania is there's, it's, a, it's so spread out, like you could go and you could wash your clothes and hang them in trees and nobody, nobody would bother you, nobody's around. But anyway, I got my clothes back together and I think, you know, that's, I think, I think running away is pretty much, a, you can run all over the place, you know, it's pretty much what I do. I'm going to ask die. me about my because musical influence, and this is what I have. I had a dream when I was about 16, and I was walking down the high school corridor, and um, Elvis was the janitor, and we kissed. And uh, the next day I woke up and I bought his love song record and listen to his music. And I was actually going through a great depression at the time. And uh, when I heard his music, it really helped to bring me out of it. And uh, from there was really actually where I started playing music because after that, I felt like I was in a place where I wanted to start performing and I had 
a confidence that I didn't have before. Music. This is bullshit. I like music. It gets me. It gets me. By the time that I had moved to Nashville, I was writing, writing lots of music, and just started playing in some bars in Nashville. One bar I played at called The Basement said, I'd like you to meet a friend of mine. And uh, he's the one who introduced me to Martin Treffy, who invited me to come over to London and just meet and see if, see if we hit it off. And we wound up making a whole record because it was basically like magic. I felt, I felt like a child again, you know. They have a studio up on Kensal Road called Kensal Town and they're starting their own record label and they said let's let's put this album out even though it's it won't be easy but it I think it was magic for all of us and that's what I love about being here and and um, that's why I'm here and even when times are difficult and different and I don't know where I am all the time, it's uh, that's what I'm doing here. Getting lost, I feel like a runaway. But it, that's not that's not um, a first. So I keep on waiting. Seeing your eyes, I can't give up.